All right, so here, here I am. We have a defensive coordinator and I wanted to give myself some time to think about how I feel, to, to assess who he is, to really understand um, what he's bringing to the table before I made a video and said anything about the defensive coordinator, specifically based on my own opinion. So now that I've done that, I decided to make a video about how I'm looking at this defensive coordinator, how I would grade this higher and my hopes for this opportunity. So um, just to start and get everything out there, I would rate the hire a C plus. Now, here's the thing. I, I, I'm a professor, right? So I understand how grades work really well. A C plus is not a failing grade. It is not the grade that you hope to get, but to be fair, a lot of us were C students, myself included, okay? Um, when I got my first degree, I was a C student and I prided myself on being a C student and I did just enough so that I could be a C student and so I could pass the class. And so I think this defensive coordinator passes the class, right? Um, he has worked with safeties, cool. He's been in the NFL, great. He was with the Cincinnati Bengals, no matter what I think about the Cincinnati Bengals as an organization, their defense has been great. He coached the safeties, the safeties have been great. So I think altogether, I see where his um, background comes into play here. Um, and so I, I, I think it's a C plus hire. Um, the things I don't like about the hire, um, I don't like that he has never ran a defense. And so for me, part of my grade is impacted because I, I can't go to film or I can't watch his teams perform on film. All I know is about his development of safeties. And so his development of safeties has been really great. Um, I don't know how his development of a defense works. I don't know what kind of defense he runs. Um, I don't know that much about him in that regard because there's not any film for us to watch to actually see how he would do those things. So for me, if I can't go find something where I can watch how you do your job and figure out how you would be leading a complete defense, it's hard for me to grade you. Um, and so that's why I gave him a C. I think the other thing is though, if I'm if I was just to grade him based on how he developed his safeties and based on how good the safeties were that he worked with, I'd probably give him a solid B plus. But again, I don't have anything that's showing me how he works um, with a total defense. And because I don't, I give him a C plus. Also, I wanna say a C plus, like I think that's pretty good, right? Um, I think a lot of people are up in arms because they wanted us to be a splash hire, they wanted us to be that, they wanted us to be that. Okay, I hear that. But let's think about the things that Coach Prime said he was going to do. Um, bringing in an NFL atmosphere, he said he was going to take his time and he said he was going to make the best hire and that his guys deserved a good hire. So if Coach Prime believes that this is the best hire for the job, all I can do is trust him. And that's fine. And the great thing about a C plus is he can, there's so much room to improve. Like I hope by the time the season starts, I might say B. I hope in the season I'm saying A, right? Like I don't think a C plus is a bad thing. I just think there's a lot of things that I don't know about that I haven't seen. And so I don't want to just jump off and be like, oh, he's great, he's a great hire, this is fantastic. Everything's gonna be good, he's gonna be great, he's gonna be perfect, we do what we wanna do. I don't know that. So from what I'm seeing and for me being objective, I'm sitting back and I'm going, you know what? I would give this a solid C plus. And I think that that's good. And let's be honest, this guy might be amazing. This guy might be the best new defensive mind, defensive coordinator in college football. I just don't know. He hasn't coached college before. So I just don't know how he's going to relate to college players. I don't know what his philosophy is going to be. I don't even know how he's made a name for himself. Like there's just things I don't know. And so when you don't know something about somebody, all you know is you have to trust the head coach's decision, which is coach prime. And you have to trust that he knows what his team needs to do the job. And then you have to trust that this guy who's had 12 years of coaching experience um, can coach and that he knows what he's doing and he knows how to run a defense and that's it. And listen, at the end of the day, if we can stop the run, if we are better than last place in defense, if we're like in the top 50 or the top 75, like top 75, that's probably not that great. But if we're like better than we were last year, that's progress. I just, I, I, I guess my point is, is that when you're looking at a team collectively, when I'm assessing football teams and coaching staffs and things like that, one thing that I think about is, do I want everybody to be amazing? 
Absolutely, because who doesn't want everybody to be amazing? But sometimes having somebody that has some room to grow isn't necessarily a bad thing. And so I think some of you will probably hear this and be like, oh my God, a C? Oh my God, it's Coach Prime. Oh my God, like, and go on and on and on and on and on. That's fine. You can feel that way. But in my personal opinion, based off what I've seen, what I think he's going to do, and what I was expecting of this hire, I think he's a solid C plus. And I think that that is fantastic. And so you might ask, like, who would be an A? That, that's, the, that's the funny thing. I think somebody that would be an A would be somebody that probably doesn't ever want to coach college, like uh, Mike Vrabel or Bill Belichick. Like those guys, in my opinion, would be an A. Um, there are some other guys that were thrown around that I think might have been like a B, B plus, but like I feel like an A to me, in my opinion, unless this guy that we would have hired would have been defensive coordinator somewhere else, I think a, a C plus is solid. Like I'm okay with this hire. I think it's fine. I think it's going to be fine. And I'm going to believe that it's going to be fine until I'm shown that it's not going to be okay. So I think for right now, it's going to be fine. Now, I'm, I, I just want to preface all this by saying I haven't watched any videos of him. Um, I don't know how he communicates. I don't know how he talks. I don't know how he coaches. So, so my opinion is solely based off of his name his experience, and then coming and coaching at CU, and then everything that Coach Prime has said. So I hope that he comes in and he's ready to go. I hope that my prediction is wrong and he is an A++++. I I even would be okay if he is a B+. But just because I said C+, it's fine. This is my opinion. This is my channel and I can say what I want to say. Um, but again, who knows? Maybe he will change my mind. And I actually hope he changes my mind because that would be fantastic. But for right now, I'm giving him a solid C+. I think it was a good hire. I think Coach Prime did what he said he was going to do. And I think we should allow the man to do his job. And then let's see what happens on the back end of it.